He's made her younger. <laughs> Meet six-year-old canine hunter and his handler, Officer Mark McGrain. They have been partners for more than three years, but there is a story behind their bond. Even without the vest, like he started sniffing the pants and he's like, hey, Dad, we're going to work, right? You're going to get in that car, we're going to go. Like Bristol Police Commissioner Phil Vanella was a man of all trades. He was in law enforcement. He owned a tailor shop, serviced uniforms for the officers, and most importantly, he loved German Shepherds. His daughter, Christy, in fact, grew up with three herself. It's dedicated, it's protective, um, and so he just always had a big connection with them. Phil wanted to combine his love for the breed with his desire to address the nationwide opioid crisis. We're facing a significant issue, and uh, we know that it is one of the leading causes of, uh, you know, death it is uh, overdoses and opiate. They're also involved in uh, missing people, searches, suspect detaining and, and uh, uh, tracking. Through community support, Phil raised $50,000, and that was enough to buy Canine Hunter and his necessities to be on the police force. But over time, Phil got very sick. In 2018, Phil Vanella suddenly died from lung cancer, and since then, his daughter Christy has made sure his love for German Shepherds and his passion for tackling the opioid crisis gets carried on. I knew that my dad's goal when he started Operation Opioid was to obtain two canines, and I couldn't let this go and not finish what he started. Christy is now in the process of getting Bristol Police a second canine through Operation Opioid. Her goal to make it happen, $20,000. When she looks at Hunter, she says it is motivation, but also a reminder of her father's lifelong mission. I'm so proud of him, and I hope he's proud of us and carrying on his legacy. In Bristol, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.